Get off the kids, y'all got to get off the way. It's a Tupac concert. Oh, man. Get on me, man. Get on me, man. Cosby kids. Get on me. Get, get on me. Predator. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Hold up, hold up, Elvira. Hold up. <laughs> now, what's up, man? This is the VIPs. Yeah, that, that means very, very important people. Hey guys, I'm Duff from MTV, and I'm here to interview Tupac for his rockumentary. Oh, straight, yo, is that ever gonna see this? Yo, cause you know, I was in Virginia Beach, and I met his cousin, right? He told me, like, put some lyrics on the tape, you know, and then send it in. Yo, Ed, what's up, Eddie? A show Cosby kids, get on me, Hunter, yo, yo, yo. Hold up, hold up, Elver, hold up, what's up now? This is the celebrities, better believe it, that that implies extremely notable individuals. Hello, folks, I'm Duff from MTV. And I'm here to talk with Tupac for his rockumentary, Gracious Straight Yo. Is that going to see this yo, cause you realize I was in Virginia Ocean side. And I man his cousin right, he let me know, like put some verse on the tape you know. And afterwards in yo, he what's oopy many years. After the fact, the man blamed for plotting Tupac Shacker's 1996 homicide made his most memorable court appearance. Only 30 minutes prior here is video showing Dwayne Keffey D. Davis in that court at 8.30 earlier today. While before an adjudicator, we figured out that he has a lawyer who mentioned to return 14 days, so Davis' next trial is presently booked for October 1919 at 900 a.m. Jamie Foxx has quite recently blended the pot, guaranteeing that Diddy may be maintaining one amazing mystery about Tupac, less than ideal demise, while the secret encompassing Tupac's homicide has endured for a really long time, a new curve has seen KF an excellent suspect being captured now. It appears as though individuals are spilling the tea, with a thinking for even a moment to recommend that it wasn't KID who was behind the hit. Yet rather Diddy himself, supposedly organizing the entire thing assuming these cases have any reality to them, it could mean something bad for the Hip Jump Shopping Center. And in this stunning new development, you will have a hard time believing what Jamie Foxx as of late spilt about the unbelievable late rappers, Tupac Shaker, and famous large, the multi-skilled entertainer and vocalist, got garrulous during a sit-down with Radio Planet Television where he focused on the permanent imprint, left by the passings of these notable figures addressing Radio Planet Television. The 42-year-old said the Tupac inheritance is so fantastic. I was watching in VH1 when tragically we lost Tupac, and sadly we lost Biggie additionally. It actually leaves an opening in my heart when I think about those folks and what they might have done and could be doing right now, he additionally added. And a ton of these folks wouldn't actually have had vocations in the event that Big Deal and Pac could never have passed. And I say that not naming anyone's names since I accept everybody is as yet gifted, however, I want to have had somewhat a greater amount of that man, somewhat a greater amount of everything they might have shown us, and say to us an exemplary production from the brilliant period of sketch satire on Unfiltered and Fabulous has reemerged. And it has fans, each of the abuzz in this oldie. But a goodie Jamie Foxx plays an occasion safety officer at a Tupac show sounds normal right well. Here's the kicker when Tupac himself strolls in Fox, humorously neglects to perceive the notable rapper, and continues to give him a reprimanding that is when things take a wind Tupac's safety officers dip in to make all the difference. And unexpectedly, Fox understands the gravity of his error the web is having a field day with this drama, with fans spouting over both the Oscar-winning Fox and the late unbelievable Tupac. It resembles a period container of giggling and recollections re-emerging similarly as news about a capture in Tupac's homicide case. Has everybody talking September 7, 1996, denoted a critical night that actually torment the universe of music and diversion at 11.15 p.m.? Or on the other hand, PDT, the existence of 25-year-old rap sensation, Tupac Shaker took a dim and evil turn in the Las Vegas Valley, Nevada. It was a drivey shooting that eternity scratched itself into the records of music history, Las Vegas police, affirmed they have executed another court order. 
All things considered, the rap symbol was killed in a drive-by shooting in the wake of leaving a Mike Tyson fight on the Las Vegas Strip authorities. Say the warrant was served Monday in Henderson, Nevada, around 15 miles from Vegas Shaker. Was only 25 when he passed on, he has had five number one collections. And as an individual from the rowdy corridor of notoriety, the episode unfurled when Shaker's vehicle stopped at a red light at the crossing point of East Flamingo Street and Covel Path. Unfortunately, four rounds shot from a 40 tight Glock found their objective two in his chest, one in his arm, and one more in his thigh, the world paused its breathing as Shekhar battled for his life. Yet after six days, the music business lost quite possibly of most splendid star abandoning an inheritance, perseveres right up to the present day hypothesis, has been overflowing that Jamie Foxx could have a couple of doubts of his own implying that there's more going on than meets the eye the situation starts to get interesting when you consider Key D's stunning admissions key, D who as of late wound up in a Las Vegas court over the famous killing, has more than once guaranteed that Diddy, known as Sean Brushes in reality, once requested that he take out Tupac and rap magnate Sugga Knight. When requested a reaction, Diddy's agents stayed quiet. It's actually significant that Diddy has recently excused such cases as garbage in his tell book. He declaims that Diddy was filled with dread saying, I'm ready to smell and see dread puffy was loaded with dread. As per Kathy Diddy requested that he handle two or three issues, eminently huge President Sug Knight and Tupac, might it at some point be that a diss track hit him up was the flash that lighted this searing quarrel in a new meeting with the YouTube sensation Flat Television. This might key D dropped one more stunner as per CFI FBI specialists informed him that Diddy had supposedly laid out an incredible $1 million to the infamous Zoom for Tupac's death. When examined regarding a gangland gossip, that recommended Puffy had given up ale bucks to Zip. However, wound up getting deceived Key D answered the fate, said that to a homicide for employ and Puffy be secured, said he's a grimy. Underscore, underscore, definitely. He even said that like by and large, that was presumably the best thing that might have at any point happened to Puffy by Zip taking the cash. Now Puffy isn't associated with that, underscore underscore, or probably it would have been similar to a homicide for recruit, or something you understand what I'm talking about the FBI said FBI grimy. Underscore underscore, no doubt so the FBI let you know that Zip kept that cash too, he says Zip's a messy. Underscore underscore, everyone cross you a stunning disclosure, portrays backroom dealings and disloyalties. He proceeded to share how the FBI considered Hurdle as a filthy mother veyer, guaranteeing that everybody he connected, with including legal counselors and companions, would ultimately betray him. And on the off chance that that weren't an adequate number of observers, in a new Las Vegas excellent jury hearing, added considerably more fuel to the blazing fight among Diddy and Tupac. The declaration uncovered well-established ill will between the two, with Tupac blaming D.I. and Big Deal Smalls for coordinating an assault that left him shot the Tupac Diddy dramatization, is getting significantly juicier. And it appears to be that Jamie Foxx could have a few individual purposes behind accepting that Diddy is ensnared in this snare of privileged insights you see Fox is no more bizarre to the universe of VIP quarrels and secret bits of insight rumors from far and wide suggest that Diddy could have endeavored to quietness him in the past for standing in opposition to the hip bounce magnate. A TikTok video as of late surfaced highlighting interviews with different rappers and vocalists examining Puff Daddy's famous all men gatherings and bringing up issues about his sexual direction, the video starts off with Jamie Foxx spilling the buns on seeing Puffy. Underscore underscore, secret television get-togethers that purportedly elaborate young fellow with this large number of skeletons tumbling out of the storeroom. It's no big surprise that the Twitter section is humming with hypothesis a client suitably asked, was there an endeavor on Jamie Foxx's life? 
for standing up against Diddy. Considering Box's past hospitalization, the multi-gifted 55-year-old artist and entertainer wound up in the emergency clinic in April 2023 because of reasons that remained covered in secret. His little girl Karen gave some understanding expressing that he had encountered an unexpected problem. However, the subtleties were stayed quiet about firmly. While Fox never uncovered the particulars of his hospitalization, in a new video, he did offer his thanks to his sister, Dedra Dixon, his little girl, and the committed clinical experts who assume an essential part in saving his life. It's been a difficult excursion, yet presently Fox is seeing the reason to have some hope in an Instagram post. He shared photographs of himself, appearing as though his energetic self again, unfolding classy pilot, shades a so container cap, and a white shirt he imparted to his great many supporters, that he's at long last beginning to feel like his old self calling it a startling and dim excursion anyway. It was estimated that it was all since he was talking a lot about Diddy, who never believed that the world should know, including those tip-top gatherings and mystery undertakings. The hip-jump world has been abuzz with discuss Puff Daddy's famous gatherings. And it's not simply insiders like Jamie Foxx who are spilling the tea wrappers like 50 Penny, have taken hits at Puffy making fun of the selective series he's known to have which are supposed to highlight all male lists of attendees. And some say much more youthful men, the interest extends as a TikTok video, re-emerges including an educational meeting with her and a sensation usher on the Howard Harsh show usher, who had his own spell under the care of Puffy as a teen spilled, filled the beans on the covered flavor camp without unveiling such a large, 